Have you ever wanted to be the absolute ruler of your Minecraft kingdom? Or maybe your world is a bit crazy and you need some help managing things? That's what ops are for. An op, or operator, in Minecraft is an authorized player that has administrative privileges on the server. Basically, they can use server commands. There are four different levels of op in Java Edition, each level having a different level of control on the server. Level 1 can bypass spawn protection, but has no access to commands. Basically, they can place and break blocks in spawn protection, and not much else. Level 2 can use several commands. Clear, difficulty, effect, game mode, game rule, give, summon, set block, and TP. Level 3 can use the same commands as level 2, but also the commands ban, deop, kick, and op. This is a good permission level to have for moderators on a larger scale, since these are all player management commands. Level 4 is the highest level of permission. They can use all previous commands, as well as the stop command. This will, as the name suggests, stop the server. Probably not a great idea to give this one out to a whole lot of people, and it's usually best to just give this to the server owners. There are three different ways to assign op to players on your server. You could use the node panel players tab, you can use console commands or in-game commands if you already have an op in-game. And you can manually alter the permissions file in the file manager. First step in using node panel, be sure you're in the right place. Go to the players tab on your control panel. Here you'll see the ops tab. Any players added to this list will automatically be set as op by our system. Just add the player by name or UUID, click them, set the permission level, and save. You may need to restart the server after adding players to ensure that the changes apply. For console commands, be sure that the server is running. Use the command op player name, obviously switch out player name with the player name, and the command is the same in-game as long as you are already set as op. So you can't just use this command, you have to have already used one of the previous methods. To manually alter the permissions file, be sure that you've started the server up at least once. The file won't be created until that point. From the file manager, open the file ops.json in the main directory. Here you can add the players directly by UUID and name. This is the format for this file, but if you're using either the panel's player feature, fe feature? They're the pit. <gasps> This is the format for this file, but if you're using either the panel's player feature or the server command, this file will be changed for you automatically. When you're finished editing this file, be sure to save the changes and restart the server for the changes to apply. Op levels are very useful for player management. Using node panel makes assigning ops and permission levels super easy. Be sure to give it a try and play around with the different levels to see which one works best for you and your players. Hope that helped you. Bye!